Hey everyone, Coach Jeff here, Spark Tank Media. Um, I'm Jeff Lobb, going to host your session today. Uh, today we're talking about one of the, I think, the simplest but most important tools you could be using Facebook for. And the, the simple tool is Facebook Lists. But it's never just about the list, it's how you're going to use it and why you're going to use it. So let me get you a quick explanation before I show you how to do it. Um, keep in mind, we're live. If notifications pop up and stuff, I'm just going to deal with what we have. Um, and I'll also show you from my mobile device as well. So um, real quick, lists. The one of the most important things we need to be doing on social media is listening. Um, we do a lot of talking, but we should be listening. And here's when I talk about listening, what I mean. Um, when important things are said in real estate, in your business, in whatever it might be, your customers are talking about critical things in their lives and things that may impact the need for your business, whether it's a transaction, whether it's the need for your services, whatever it might be. Um, example for real estate though, let's just use real estate as an example. So if the customer and the transaction revolves around life events, transactions happen around something in life. Um, for real estate, it might be, we're having a baby. Um, for real estate, uh, it could be, you know, I just got my last one out to college and I'm going to downsize or, um, Hey, you know what? I don't think, um, we want to move just yet, but in a year we want to start planning for our second home. These are the triggers that people talk about on social media. The problem is it's so noisy and it's in the newsfeed where you can never, never, ever, ever see all of the things that are important to you. So a good example I always use is we all say we want referral business. We all want referrals. However, referral business requires human connections and relationships after the sale, not just drip campaigns, not just I'm sending you postcards and I'm sending you calendars and yeah, and I send you a pie every year. That's awesome. Not to stop that. But when your customers are talking online and they're talking about something that's happening with their spouse, the, their child just won an award. These are connecting moments that you should be talking to them and staying in touch as if you've never left the connection after the sale. And you could do that because when or you, you can't do that a lot of the times, let me clarify, is because if they make a post and it's something important, the news feed is so busy, you cannot possibly keep track of the people that matter. So the only way to do that is with a strategic list, right? Keep in mind, people pay attention to whether you pay attention to them or not. People just want to feel like they matter. So what I suggest is creating strategic lists and using them daily. And by creating a list, not a group now, a list, it will separate those people to the one side of your page. And you can simply just go to your lists of people and talk to them and see what they're posting. And, you know, basically look at it as like a filter. It filters them out so you can see them and just highlight them. So I want to create a list for you, but more importantly, I want to also show you how to leverage it on your mobile device, how to make it productive in 10 minutes a day. All right. So um, keep this short. Let's get rolling. I'm on my live Facebook page. As I mentioned, it is what it is. Live stuff may happen. Uh, this is my personal page now, not my business page, not my rules, Facebook's rules. But I use with what I use what we have available to us at the time. So I'm going to go to my home page here. You should follow my mouse. Uh, I'm going to try and go through quickly for time purposes because I know your attention span is pretty pretty slim here. So um, we're busy, right? So here we are on my Facebook personal page. I went to the home button. I'm looking on the left-hand side for my friends list. It may be different in your screen because everyone's screens are a little bit different. I am going to my friends lists. All right. Here's my little man. All right. That being said, these are, I have a lot of dummy lists here too from demos that I'm doing. So don't even take mine super seriously. You probably see a bunch of lists already have been, has been created. Facebook tried to get smart and say, we'll create these smart lists, meaning my university where I went to school, my high school, and it's trying to connect to people that went to that school there, right? It tried to create one. I'm going to create a simple list, real one, um, which I've deleted a bunch of them to create new ones again, but I'm going to have duplicates. So I'm going to create one um, and I'm going to name the list for, let's say, a particular client of mine, uh, friends too, but client. So we're going to say list name. Family first funding. Okay, it happens to be a mortgage company. Now, I'm, I want the people in this list, of course, whoever I'm connected to. For you, it could be my past clients. For you, it could be um, my office, people and agents that are in your office. So you know what's going on in your little world. It could be other colleagues in the business. It could be people you follow online that are maybe super marketing savvy or tech savvy. Whatever list, I tell it like this. Um, create a list simply strategically for the people that matter in your life. Okay. So members, once you start typing in their name, it'll start to pop up 
and you'll just add the people that either belong to that list or should be in that list. And you'll just add a bunch and you can always come back and add. Now, keep in mind, you have to add this and do this from the desktop, from a laptop, but I'm going to show you how I access it 99% of the time on my mobile device. Okay, so I'll just add a few more people here real quick. Um, and yeah, that's good enough for now. All right, so I'm going to make this list short and sweet for demo purposes, creating the list called Family First Funding. Now it also pops up, boom, it's there. And it's going to start to filter already the people that posted. There's there's Tom, and it's going to start to filter those types of people um, that are that have posted recently that are not necessarily getting caught up in my news feed. Okay, so it takes away the noise and brings it into simple lists. Now let's go back to my list category and let's see. I have a couple other smaller lists here. Um, just I, I've made some some de other demos. So here's um, one I call just cool kids, um, people that I just follow. Some of it's my wife and some of it's other people as well. It's a lot of her actually, um, probably because I made it a demo. So it just filters it out and it's a custom list. Now, if you want to go back in and add people to it, so you simply go back in and manage your list, edit the list. So let's say I've got more customers or more people I want to add to this cool kids list. Oh, I only added a few for demo purposes. So let's add in few others um, that I want. Okay, on the list. Nope, my bad. Friends. I want to add friends. So I add Lori. Uh, let's see. Finish. Okay, we'll try one more time. Let's see if we go back in. Edit the list. I put her on the list. Now let's go in and add uh, Joe. Friends. Let's go ahead, Joe, finish, okay? Now you see that they're added to this list as well, right? So you can add as many people you want to the list. You can even go here and do a quick add. Um, so if I wanna add, let's just say I wanna add Mary, uh, add Mary, I can add um, Scott. Okay, so just add to the list, right? And that'll start to then up your list, show you who's on it, and we'll start to filter them as well. Okay, so finished off. Now, while that's all said and good, gives you the custom list, we'll break out their feeds a little bit uh, differently. Uh, let me see if it will actually pull up and refresh. Refresh the list. It's a little slow for today. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let it refresh for a second. Um, but it'll add those people into the list, pull out and filter their stuff. Now, there's another list I want you to see real quick while I'm here before I show you my mobile device. Um, it also happens to be a geographic list. I talk about it all the time as well. Try and show some slides. Geographic meaning the town you reside in, which is right here. So it's where I registered, obviously, my location for Facebook. When you click on that, it'll allow you to create a list based on geography. People that you're connected to, not just people, people that you're connected to, friends with, in a specific geographic area of that. To me, it's a great farming tool. It's a great state of what's being talked about in my area, state of what people are saying in that area. Uh, it's a good listening tool as well. You change the mileage and the geography right here. Friends who live within 20 miles it has, but I can literally take that 20 mile radius to 45 miles to 75 miles, hit save, and it'll end up starting to pull people in within a 75 mile radius versus 25 and simply pulls that out. It will also show you the people who are on that list that are also within that 75 mile range. So you get a chance to obviously see who you'll be hearing from in that particular list. Okay, that list is a geography list based and it's named after the town that you're in. Okay, definitely you can still add people to it, but in the meantime, I'm picking it based on geography. And I just save it. now. That's great. So how do we make this productive? Okay, let's say I created a list for my clients. I created a list for my, my people I've sold homes to. I've created a list for my family members because obviously you don't want to ignore them. Sometimes, look, when people make a post, they want to be heard. They want to be seen. The last thing you'd want are some of your clients talking about something that happened with their home, something that's going on in their life with their children. The amount of intel, and I say intel, life event 
impactful intel that comes out of what people are posting and paying attention to it is invaluable. Think about this. What other tool do you have right now in your life that can show you visually and verbally what people are doing day to day in their world? Think about it. There's nothing. Email can't do it. Data can't do it. Spreadsheets can't do that. CRMs can't do that. Nothing. When people are talking about things in their world, you can stay absolutely human so that when you run into them six months from now at the store, the Target, the Walmart, wherever you're going to be shopping, Nordstrom's, you know, oh, hey, John, how's it going? Oh, my God, I saw your vacation pictures. I can't believe how big your granddaughter's getting. What a great vacation you guys took. Um, how's the home? I saw you did a new deck on the back. You're paying attention because you're talking to them, right? Now, let me show you on the mobile device because they created it here, but I mainly access everything right here. So let me flip the switch. Um, we're going to try and keep notifications to a minimum while I buzz through it. Um, oh, my bad. Let me push my phone up to it. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to mirror my phone. You should be able to see it pretty clear here. I'm going to just put it right over the top. Yeah, get out of there. Okay, good. All right, so we're mirroring. I'm going to go to my Facebook app. Now, depending on what device you have, Facebook app, you know, Android or what have you. Okay, so I'm just opening up the app live. That being said, um, you know, I'm re in my regular newsfeed, which can be extremely noisy. I could be looking for things and I'm never going to see the people that matter most of the time. I'm seeing some very cool people that I connect with, but it's not my lists. To get to my lists, in the bottom right-hand corner here, there's that three little bars. It means more, like go get more. So I'm going to touch that three bar button, right? I'm now going to scroll down and I'm going to be looking for the word feeds. And here's where people get stuck. I'm looking for the word feeds. Now, most people are going to go, hey, I don't see feeds in here, Jeff. Feeds really means your lists. It's your news feeds, the ones you've saved. So we get stuck because we don't see it here. So what I want you to do is there's shortcuts. There's always a see more button. See more. I want you to keep scrolling down, not explore feed, not that one. That's confusing too. My bad. It's not my, my system. I'm going to say it's right here. Feeds, right? Good feeds. These are the feeds that I've created. We created that list called family first funding right there, right? We created that. That's my list. I go to my list. It's going to show me on a day-to-day -day basis, obviously filtering out those people and their posts. Now it's also based on relevancy. And you know who's posted when and most recent, but it's going to at least pull up the people that made a recent post. Um, where did I do the other one? I think I added cool kids. I've got one for my core team. I, I must have deleted most of these for fun. All right, let me see if I can find another one. Spark Tank Media. I deleted that one too. My bad, guys. Um, doing demos live are tough. Let me look for the one I did. We called Cool Kids. That one, I know we have people in, right? So there we go. Okay, so it, it allows you to filter that out. So that's how I'd access mainly my lists. Now, the geography list is right there. We said it was Augusta, New Jersey was the town. That right there will then pull in the people that I said based on how many mile radius. Um, and I'll be able to filter up and take a look at the different people that are in that radius. Whether And keep in mind, if I don't like a certain individual, I could take them out of that list as well. If something's annoying to you and they're putting out nonsense, you could remove them from that list just because it's in the geography. So don't be fooled by that. Look at this. Like anyone up for some drinking today? Like, you know, there's certain people that I probably would not keep in this list. I just filtered it for that particular reason. But that being said, that's how I'd access to it. Okay, so it's on the left-hand side. Down to feeds. Feeds right there. And those are your lists. So here's what I say about all of this. Let me uh, remove my device. Is what I'll, what I'll say to you is um, leverage the lists as a strategic tool. If you're going to take 10 minutes a day and have a cup of coffee, go to the lists, go to the people that matter, go over to your clients, past clients, people from your church or organization. You can make a list for any of them. And when you can stay connected to them on a very visual basis, liking and commenting both ways on stuff as well as posting stuff, um, into that list, you can also um, stay much more connected than any CRM database or anything that matters. If you see something really important happening in their world, pick up the phone, send them an email, 
send them a text, send them a Facebook message saying, hey, I'm really thinking about you. I'm sorry that's happening to you. Or if you need help, let me know. Like, well, let's stay human about it. And by having lists, we'll keep you human in the platform. All right, that's my tip. Jeff Lobb, um, use it, execute it, watch the difference. Thanks.